Hey guys, so this video is an update to the original video that I created as a tutorial for how to use uh, voice attack with Star Citizen. And um, since then, I've, I've um, corrected a few mistakes that I made in, in that earlier video, and there have been a couple of updates to, to the actual um, voice attack software. So the first thing that I want to explain is this profile here, HCS Event Horizons SC Beta. This is basically a default uh, profile that the HC, uh, HCS PAX uh, company created for Star Citizen. Uh, don't worry about the word beta. It's always going to say that, and it only says that because the game hasn't actually been released yet. But the most important thing to understand is that all of the key bindings, uh, or most of the key bindings, they have built-in commands, and they've put it into this profile. And this profile also incorporates all of the other voice packs that you can purchase for Star Citizen. So even if you purchase a, an, another voice pack, um, you don't have to actually load in the individual profile for it. Like if you look and you see this list here, I've got the, all these different types of, of profiles. Um, none of them actually say Star Citizen except for this one. But um, any, it doesn't matter um, which of the uh, um, voice pack you, you purchase. This is the only one that should be loaded and should stay loaded whenever you run voice attack. Now on top of this, you still uh, may want to run and create your own custom commands. So how do you do that? Well, what you need to do is you need to create another profile and you create it by right clicking on this little icon over here. Okay. so. Let's just go through this process and I'll show you real quick how to do it. So right click on this, click on create new profile. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it SC in this case. And I'll create a command. And the command will say power up the ship. And the key press will be just the key R and click OK, leave everything else as default. Just a simple command. So whenever I say power up the ship, it's just going to press the letter R. And that, that actually powers up the ship in Star Citizen. So click OK. And there it is. There's that one command that I have saved. Now I'll click Done. Now if you notice, it switched the profile to SC. Of course, the problem with this is that is now the only command that I have access to through voice attack. And that's not what we want. So we want to click on the drop down and switch back to Event Horizon. Now what we want to do is what we what we refer to as linking profiles. And this is important and this is a step that a lot of people miss. In order to link this profile with the custom profile that we just created, we have to do this um, on the pencil icon here click on it and this opens up this profile and if you notice all of the commands that are already in here everything in here is already grayed out so you can't actually change any of these but we can link in the custom commands that we just created if I click on options here and here on this command that says include commands from other profiles, click on the ellipsis, click on the plus sign, and click on the drop down and find that profile that we just created, that custom profile, click OK. And now you see it here in this list and click OK. So now if you look here, you see how it's grayed out. It's grayed out, but it's actually listed in here now and click OK. This is how you actually link all of your custom commands into the default uh, 
program here all right now there's one other thing that I want to show you and that is called the customizer so there's actually no way to get to it directly from the voice attack menu system what you have to do is you have to hold down left control left shift left alt and then press enter so that's a total of four customizer. keys this is the customizer and what you want to make sure that you're doing in the customizer is you want to load in your own custom key mappings so if you've ever played star citizen and you've got a, a joystick or a throttle um, or even just a keyboard and you've got some custom key bindings you can save those into a file so what you want to do is you want to actually load in all of your custom key bindings into voice attack. So the way you do that is you go to keyboard control and here on the paths, this is a place where you actually load in the path to the actual uh, custom keyboard key bindings and, and files that you create yourself. So when you find this, when you put this path in here, um, this drop down will show you all of these, the custom files that you have saved in here. And you just pick the one uh, that you're using currently for Star Citizen and click apply. So what that does is every time you run voice attack, it's going to automatically load in all of the custom key bindings that you have and the only other thing that I need to show you and I've showed this before is um, let's say there are some there are some commands that conflict with the custom um, key bindings that you made like I created that um, I created that command power well if you look in here, um, this this menu has changed a little bit. Anything that's blue has been modified, okay? And it actually says it down here. Blue lines contain custom triggers. These these are the actual text, um, the actual speech commands that you say to execute all of those commands. Now we can't change the commands themselves, but we can change what we actually say. So if I actually wanted to use my custom power command then I could go in here and let's say um, power up and you see here it says power up the ship well if I wanted to use my own command I would just delete this command in here click apply or just well I can't delete it I would just say power on just make a change click apply so now when I say power up the ship it's not going to use the actual default command from this profile let me just save it save the change Closing customizer. so it's not going to use the default command from this Same profile saved. instead it's actually going to use the custom command that I just created so it'll use this command instead and that's how you can modify and overwrite any of the existing commands so I just wanted to show you that real quick and like I said whenever you exit or you're done with any changes that you make always switch back to this profile and Voice Attack always remembers the last profile that you had loaded here. And this is why you want to always have this one um, selected. So when you close the program, the next time you open it, it's automatically going to load this one. And because we've already configured everything, it's going to automatically link in your custom profile, that SC profile. And it's also going to remember the changes that we made in the customizer. So that's it for this video um, please give it a like and uh, take care guys